Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome my name is Lily. Um, today's video is actually going to be part two of my skincare routine so if you haven't seen part two already I will um what's it called put it up, up there link it up there and the link will also be in the description box so make sure you check that out beforehand just because um it's a continuation so it's going to make a lot more sense if you watch part one and then watch this video but it's basically going to just be about the extra sort of nighttime skincare routines that i do on top of my everyday normal sort of skincare routine um these are just like extras that i personally really like to do and that have I've seen a real big difference in my skin doing so I really hope you enjoy the video make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it because it really really helps me out and also comment down below what kind of um, skincare you've got in going at the moment and stuff like that I've been really loving having those conversations with people so definitely start a conversation down in the comment section because I always reply and love having chats with people anyway so I hope you enjoy the video and it will get straight into it now in today's evening um, skincare routine, oh, I've actually just got this product, new product in. So this is going to be new implemented into my skincare routine. Um, but I'll, So I'll be doing this particular one that I'm going to do tonight uh, once a week, maybe twice a week. I think I'm going to do it twice a week actually. And then um, I've got another one that uh, I'm going to do, I do like once a a week ish so I do it every other or like when I feel like I need it so today I'm gonna actually be doing the new one that I'm implementing into my routine and that is using the RE9 advanced cellular renewal mask so it looks like this and basically this is a chemical exfoliating leave-on mask so it's got um, BHA AHAs and BHAs so that is going to just exfoliate the top layer like all the dead skin off my face get rid of all of that and the BHAs is going to go and penetrate deeper into my skin to just remove all the dirt and oil and bacteria and all the stuff that clogs up your pores so this is really really good for pigment scarring, uh, physical scarring over time. Um, it's also really good for like blackheads, spots and stuff like that. So that's why I'm gonna start implementing this into my skincare, like nightly skincare routine once to twice a week. Um, and then I also have a detox clay mask that I like to implement once every week or every two weeks, um, just because I do sometimes get quite an oily T-zone, so I usually just use it there or all over my face as well, just to sort of, because it just basically draws out any impurities and oil and stuff like that. So that is my night night time routine. So I'm gonna start with the Super Calm Cleanser. This is the Milk Cleanser. Um, I do like using this to just remove makeup, but it is a hit and miss. So I was speaking to my friend Charlotte, who has been using it and she finds for her that she doesn't really get on with it and it's not her favorite personally. And I think it is just like a milk cleanser. So milk cleansers are such a hit and miss for people, to be honest, because they don't foam up. They're not like a normal cleanser. Um, they are quite weird to get used to. Whoa! Um, they are quite weird to get used to, like I won't even lie about that because they don't, yeah, they just don't foam up. So it feels very strange and like sometimes I feel like I'm just rubbing it into my face rather than it like, yeah, it is a bit of a weird cleanser to get used to, I will admit. Um, but I do like using it to just loosen up my makeup and stuff. Like I feel like it really does a good job of that. And um my skin's quite good like it doesn't really tend to break out actually with the Arbonne products which is really really good I know that some people can break out with like you know some people just have very sensitive skin and can really break out with anything and this looks absolutely insane so <laughs> I'm just gonna wash this off now I just wanted to like actually wipe my face clean just to, so that you could actually see like how it looks um taking makeup off just so you can guys can kind of see it is actually really really good like I will admit that but it is bloody weird to get used to I'll be honest because it doesn't foam up or anything so yeah there's that 
Now I'm gonna go in with the second cleanse using my <laughs> homemade put together. My, this is the RE9 Advanced Brightening Cleansing Foam. Duct tape because I dropped it and it cracked open. So that's not how it actually comes, guys. <laughs> I've just got my brush. Oh. Gonna come in. Look how dirty the brush is. And that's, you know, this is the second cleanse. I'm just gonna wash this off and like then carry on cleansing because I just feel like, yeah. Really clean it up. It is usually my neck that I really struggle to get the makeup off. Right, let's wash this off. There we go. Now I'm gonna go in with the mask. So it says, use one to two times per week at night. Apply a generously, a generous layer over the clear. Oh my god! Wow, I can't read clearly. Um, apply a generous layer over clean skin and leave on for five to seven minutes. Then rinse. Slight transient, transient tingling or redness may be experienced and is normal for a mask of this type. Avoid the eye area. So the reason that I'm using this mask is because I get pigmented spot scarring. That's what I get all the time. Um, so any time I have a spot, even if I pop it, if I don't pop it, I will get pigment scarring and um, chemical exfoliants like like this mask are perfect for that it also is going to like really even out your skin tone it's going to just do a world of good to your yeah like evening out your skin tone um, and blocking all of those pores any dead skin you've got like blackheads, all of that jazz. It's gonna be doing all of it. So I've got it on. It is tingling, which is normal. I don't have the time though, so I should probably get the time. I'm just gonna go against what the time is. Okay, five minutes and counting. There we go, so I've just put a timer on for five minutes. I'm just gonna leave that on for five minutes it's basically just like a clear mask so you can't actually see it or anything but um yeah it is tingling but it's not burning my face off and you can see it's got a little bit red in some areas which is totally normal so yeah I basically wanted to start using this product because like I was just saying um I get pigment scarring so I don't get like physical scars um or I don't have any physical scars, but I do have, as you can see there, you can see it there, you can see a little bit here. I get it on my chin because that's where I predominantly get a lot of spots, hormonal spots on my chin. I've got one there. I've got one here on my on my um, mono brow. <laughs> um, so I do get a lot of pigment scarring and this is the best way to exfoliate your face. It's gonna promote cellular renewal it's going to promote um your collagen it's just gonna like really just basically give you that baby soft skin that you always want and look for it's also going to help with any fine lines that you've got anything like that this is all going to help with that because it's basically just an exfoliant except um with physical exfoliants you can actually over exfoliate your face because you don't know how long you're supposed to be scrubbing for some people i know i used to do this a lot when i was younger and i didn't fully understand skincare but i used to over scrub and feel like i really needed to scrub my face off um which obviously you don't need to do but it's just kind of like a little bit it's just kind of like you feel like you have to you feel like you want to just like scrub your face off and just rip it the layers of skin off basically is what you feel like you need to do but you don't and that can actually cause a lot more damage so with a chemical exfoliant like the product that i'm using the re9 advanced cellular renewal mask um it's just a bit more of like a monitored way that you can do it so you just put it on this one you put on leave for like five to seven minutes you wash it off and it's going to just like 
clear your skin basically so that's what i do with this one um when i am doing this mask though i'm not using like the nightly resurfacing pads which i used in the previous night so i'm not doing those um just because that kind of does a very similar thing except it's very surface based whereas this one is going to be going deeper into the pores and stuff like that so again you don't want to over exfoliate and you don't want to overly strip your face so that's why I don't do this mask and then the clay mask and then the nightly resurfacing pads because that would just be way too much on my face so I basically I'm going to set like an actual day to when I'm doing it so I think I'm going to be doing these little masks on Saturdays and um Maybe on Thursdays, Thursdays and Saturdays, I'll do my cellular renewal mask. And then on Monday, I will do my clay mask if I feel like I need to. Um, and then every other day, I just do my normal skin care routine with the nightly resurfacing pads. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to just seeing how the results of this and how it goes on long term because obviously I'm hoping that because this is getting deeper into the skin with the BHAs that you know I won't be getting as many breakouts and my nose my blackhead nose is going to really clear up and stuff like that so I'm really really excited to see the results of that I can't wait to be honest the more and more that I'm learning about skincare and like really taking attention to it it's just like I'm at the point now where I'm like I can't believe people don't have a skincare routine or don't actually care about it like I didn't even think about it before about how much our face especially our face because you know our body the skin on our body we kind of protect it with clothes and things like that but our face is exposed constantly to like everything oh that's the five minutes. So I'm just going to quickly wash this off. Wow. Wow. Okay. Oh, I could get used to this. I wish you could feel through the camera, but you can't. So um, you're just going to have to trust me when I say I like the way my face feels. Mm hmm. But um, yeah, so it is looking a little bit red. Wow. Just wow, to be honest. Wow, wow, wow. I'm just gonna maybe, uh, actually maybe I should just stay here because the lighting's better than my bedroom right now. I'm just gonna go and quickly get all the other products to finish my makeup, my makeup, <laughs> to finish my night skincare. So the next two products that I'm actually gonna be using in this nighttime routine because of the redness that that mask has brought my face out in which is absolutely normal and natural i am going to be using the super calm serum so this is the skin relief serum with tiger grass blend and this basically just helps reduce any redness of the skin and stuff like that so i'm going to just use this and it's very it is quite hydrating as well, actually. The moisturising, I am actually using the RE9 Advanced Prep Work Overnight Face Jelly. And I, woo, I love this. This is actually the third skincare thing that I got. So the first ever skincare products that I got from Arbonne was the Bio Hydro Cleanser and um gel like hydrator cream thing and i bought that before i was even a consultant actually with um Arbon. and i just loved it so so much it really made my skin feel so soft and then when i joined i started with the 30 days to healthy living plan which i am actually going to be doing again in june and i'm going to have like a mini series like a what I eat in a week kind of on the 30 days. Um, but yeah, so my, the, and I was, bleh, I was basically um, able to get a free gift with my order and this was my free gift. And, oh, I love it. It just makes me feel really like 
hydrated, like just like literally on my skin just drinks this stuff. I just, it just feels good. Um, and it's just high in like vitamin C if I'm not mistaken. Um, so it's very good for the skin. I do just feel really like plump and stuff when I used it. But this is it, yeah. So this is basically going to be my new Thursday and Saturday skincare routine. Look how red my face is from that mask. Crazy. I am gonna film my, I am gonna just like film my face in the morning just so that you guys can actually see how it looks and stuff. Okay, so I know I said that I was going to check in in the morning to show you how the redness has gone down, but the redness has gone down and um, I just wanted to show you, basically. Look how glowy and dewy. Good evening again, guys. I am now joining you for another evening skincare routine. It is all basically the same, except there's just like added steps. I'm gonna close the window. So there's just like an added step. So obviously um, I do my usual skincare routine, which you will see the first one. And then I've just started incorporating the cellular renewal mask and <laughs> I'm gonna keep that in. <laughs> and then um, what I like to also do every now and then, I don't do this like every single week, but I just do it when I feel like I need to, is I'll use our detox, um, Rescue Me New Detox face mask. This is really great to just draw out impurities, oils and stuff like that. So I am gonna use this one tonight after I've cleansed. So I'm just gonna double cleanse now. I'm not gonna show you that clip because you've seen this clip like two or three times now. So um, I'm just gonna double cleanse using, again, just the super calm and then the brightening. And then I will get back to you once that's done and I'm putting my mask on. Ciao for now. So I've just um, cleansed and now, now I'm gonna put the clay mask on. I literally am just doing it on my forehead and my nose today, just because that's where I tend to get the most oil. I'm just gonna do this quickly on the mirror because it's easier. Okay, so that is it on. You can see it's kind of like a clay like skin colour. And as it dries, you actually do start to see it. I'm just washing off the clay on my hands. So I tend to just oh, I tend to just leave this on for about five minutes, then I wash it off and continue with my skincare routine as normal. So I will report back to you once it's dry and I'm washing it off. This is basically what it looks like when it starts to dry up and I'm fully aware that it hasn't fully dried on my forehead. However, I am gonna wash it off because I'm impatient and it's been on for about five minutes already. So if you look at closer onto the nose, can you see those little holes? That's basically like, yeah, like it's drawing out. Ooh. It's basically like drawing out the impurities and stuff. So I'm just gonna wash this off and then, um, carry on with my skincare so I will show you that as well but I'll probably take this into now I'll just bring it in here and show you tonight I am actually going to be using um the biohydria there we go the biohydria serum and um I am going to be doing the resurfacing pads I'm going to do the nightly resurfacing pads then I'm going to put the serum on and then I'm going to be using the RE9 advanced prep work overnight jelly face jelly and then i'm also going to be using the biohydra eye gel just because um the detoxing mask really draws out all the impurities and my freaking battery is flashing so i'm gonna to have to charge my camera tomorrow and yeah it draws out all the impurities and stuff like that all the excess oil and this obviously this has retinol in as well which is going to help with like evening out my skin tone and it helps with pigmentation and stuff like that so um that's quite a lot on my skin so i really want to use hydrating products so that's why i'm going to be using the biohydra and the prep work face jelly because they are very hydrating and um yeah i really like 
using the prep work face jelly for my night time routine i just like how it feels to be honest it feels very hydrating so does the brightening range but um i don't know i just been quite liking the prep work because it's very lightweight so i've been enjoying it so there we go that is the resurfacing pad done and it does leave like a bit of a residue so i'm just gonna like kind of uh, 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 uh. so going in with the serum just do two pumps very nice and i'm just gonna go in with the brightening uh the prep work so I literally just do half a pump because that's more than enough. There we go. That is pretty much with that. And then just going in very quickly with the eye gel. So the brightening, um, I keep calling it the brightening range because that's the usual range that I've been using. But the biohydrates very like pearlescent. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. Hold on, let me try and do it like this. And there you can kind of see it. it's very pearlescent. So I've got very small. So there isn't actually an ending to this video because the camera battery died, if you didn't figure that out. Um, so I'm just gonna end it here, obviously. I hope you enjoyed um, the video. I know it kind of ends all abruptly as I'm doing the eye gel for the Biohydro eye gel. Um, but that is pretty much the crux of like my full on skincare routine. It does obviously vary depending on how I feel my skin is feeling. But it just gives you a good idea in terms of what I'm doing quite regularly, to be honest. And my eyes are looking so red and sore. Hay fever is seriously kicking my ass today. Um, but yeah, so tomorrow I'm actually going to be uploading a video as well. Which is kind of like an introduction video. Because I have got, as I've mentioned, um, my 30 Days Healthy Living series. Which is going to be pretty much taking over June um, so yeah I'm going to be doing the introduction video to that out tomorrow so make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss that like this video if you enjoyed it and uh, comment down below any sort of I don't know any sort of products that you absolutely cannot live without in terms of skincare because I'd really love to know that so yeah I hope you like this video and goodbye